In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to record high-quality electric guitar checks without even using an amplifier and a mic. But before anything else, please subscribe to our music channel. We are Ted and Kel, and we upload everything and anything about music productions from tutorial, covers, and even challenges for you guys. Now, on to the video. <laughs> Back then, the traditional way of recording electric guitar usually involves placing a microphone in front of the cabinet speakers of the amplifier. But it's not as simple as you think. You have to take into account what kind of mic to use, the kind of cabinet speakers slash amplifier, the room which affects the reverb, and even the placement of the mic in front of the speakers. This old school way could really end up being a tedious process of trial and error in finding the perfect tone of your guitar track. Believe me, I remember spending the whole day trying to figure out how to get that tone I want by adjusting the mic placement in various places and even trying out different rooms in my house such as the CR or the restroom for recording but ended up with a very muddy and lousy guitar tone. But now, with the help of today's modern technology, we could simply bypass this tedious part and get right into recording. You could even adjust the tone of your guitar track without even leaving your seat. The best part is you don't have to invest in expensive microphones and that expensive tube amplifier to do this. This could be really helpful for those who are on a tight budget. As long as you have your trusty old laptop or computer, the DAW of your choice, an audio interface, and your earphones, you're good to go. Before we start the tutorial, here are a few important reminders about the things you need. One, I'm assuming that you have a laptop or computer with you and you might be concerned if your computer is good enough for recording guitar tracks. But don't worry, a cheap old laptop or computer is fine. You don't need those high-end gaming laptops for you to record amazing guitar tracks. An i3 processor and a 4 or 8 gig RAM is enough. 2. The DAW or Digital Audio Workstation is basically your software to record and produce your awesome guitar tracks. And there are a lot of DAWs out there for you, from free ones to expensive ones. Some popular examples of DAW that you could install on your computer or laptop are Reaper, Audacity, Ableton, Pro Tools, Logic Pro, and GarageBand. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to record the electric guitar using my preferred DAW which is Ableton Live 10. 3. Now regarding the audio interface. There are a lot of options out there but if you're on a budget, a good audio interface with two or less inputs or channels for your instruments could just only cost you less than $100. Popular brands are Focusrite, Behringer, PreSonus, and M-Audio. To put it simply, your audio interface serves as your middleman between your guitar and installed DW in your computer for high quality recording. This is needed because if you plug your guitar directly to your computer, there's a big possibility that your computer's sound card could not handle the demand to produce high quality recording. Another important thing about the audio interface is that you need to install the appropriate driver for it in your computer. This driver will help the DAW recognize the connected audio interface in your computer. Without this driver, your DAW might not recognize the connected audio interface in your computer. 4. As where your guitar sounds will be heard, you could invest on a good budget monitor speakers or studio headphones. But if you are really on a tight budget, you can just use a good pair of earphones and just attach an adapter to it so you could plug it in in your audio interface. After you have all these four necessary things settled, the computer, DAW, audio interface, and earphones, simply connect your audio interface in your computer and open your DAW. Make sure that your audio interface is being used as your audio device. Plug your electric guitar to the audio interface. 
and in your DW, make sure that the track's input is the same as the input of the audio interface where you plug your electric guitar. Plug your earphones or headphones in your audio interface. Next, arm the track and turn on the monitor of the track so you can hear your guitar from your earphones, speakers, or headphones. And there you go! You can now hear your guitar sound as you play your guitar. You might notice that the guitar sounds plain and bland as it is. To really get that amplified guitar sound without a mic or an amplifier, you will need an amplifier simulator or an amp sim. This is basically a software or a plugin, as they call it in the music producing world, that turns your plain guitar sound into an amplified one in your DAW. There are a lot of amp sims you could buy and install, but fortunately for us, there are free ones that we could use. And for this tutorial, I'll be showcasing two options for the amp sim. The first option costs you nothing and could be downloaded and installed in the link below. Take note that for the free option, you will need to download two plugins. One is the Hybrid Amplifier Simulator which simulates a Marshall Amplifier, while the other is a Mercurial Cabinet Simulator that simulates different kinds of cabinet speakers. To install these amp and cabinet simulators in your DAW, simply follow the link below and download the plugins. After downloading these plugins, simply place the .vst file in the folder on where your DAW stored their plugins. For a more detailed tutorial on how to download these plugins, Please check out my tutorial on how to play the electric guitar without an amplifier. There's a link up there and I'll also put the link down below. There, I explain bit by bit how you can install the free amp simulators in your DAW. For the second option, we'll be using AmpliTube 4, which is a very powerful plugin that does not only simulate several famous amplifiers but also simulates various guitar pedals and cabinet speakers all in one plugin. This one could cost you from around less than $100 to $500 depending on the bundle pack you'll be getting on their website, which I'll link down below in the description. Let's first check out the first option, which is the free amp sim and cabinet speaker sim. So after you have downloaded and placed the .vst files of the hybrid amp sim and mercurial cabinet sim in your plugin directory folder, it's time to add them in your track. You should add the hybrid amp simulator first in your track and then followed by the mercurial cab simulator. It's important that the amp sim comes first before the cabinet simulator because the signal chain of your audio goes to the amplifier first before the cabinet speakers, just like a real guitar rig setup. Now here comes the fun part. You can now tweak the settings of the hybrid amp simulator to find your desired tone. From EQs to drive, your tone are just at your fingertips. If that's not enough, you can also tweak some settings in the cab simulator. You can change the kind of mic and even the position or placement of the mic in front of the cabinet speaker. After finding your desired tone and you're finally ready to record your guitar track, just press the record button and rock your heart out. When you're done recording, click the stop button and listen to what you've recorded. If you made the mistake during recording, simply delete the recorded audio and record again until you nail that guitar track. A good tip is to record a guitar track part by part, unless you're super good and could nail the whole guitar track in one go. There are cases where after finishing recording your guitar track, you might realize that the tone does not really hit the sweet spot. In the traditional way of recording electric guitar with a mic, you might have to re-record everything until you get that desired tone. Fortunately, you don't have to re-record everything if you're using an amp simulator. You just simply play the recording in loop and tweak the knobs in your amp simulator and cabinet simulator until you have finally hit the sweet spot. So that was the free amp sim. Let's now check out the second option which is the Amplitude 4. As compared to the free ones where you have to download and add the amp simulator and cabinet simulator separately, Amplitude 4 is a single plugin that could serve not only as your amp simulator but it can also serve as your cabinet simulator and even have a guitar pedal simulator. The layout of the plugin is very intuitive, easy, and fun to play around with. The arrows here represent the signal chain of your guitar rig. Starting with a tuner, then two sets of pedal board, followed by the amplifier of your choice, and then the cabinet and finally a rack effect if desired. You can even play around with the signal chain by choosing from the eight possible signal chains. As for variety, you have a lot of simulated guitar pedals to choose from, from overdrives, filters, delays, reverb, and other cool guitar pedals. 
The variety of amp simulators is also great. They even have a Fender, Orange, and other popular amplifiers for you to choose from. For the cabinets, there's a multitude types of cabinet speakers to choose from. The selection of microphones are great as well and you can really control the placement of the mics at your fingertips. Furthermore, AmpliTube 4 can even simulate the room where the cabinet speaker is being recorded which is really really awesome. As soon as you're done getting the right tone of your guitar track, just click the red circle button of your DW to record. And again, don't forget that you could edit the tone of your guitar even after recording your guitar tracks. And there you go, you can now record your electric guitar without even using an amplifier or a mic. Now, if you like these kinds of tutorials, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button for more Ted and Kel. See you guys!